Hello, dear participants. I welcome you at our webinar. Um, please type plus in the chat so I can see that you can hear me well. Uh, mm -hmm. And we remind to the English-speaking listeners that you can download the English version of slides in the file tab above the chat. And I can see here in the chat that among us today, among the participants, are people interested in herbal therapy and its usage for oncology. People from different countries, Canada, uh, uh, India, Ireland, uh, yeah, Portuguese people, Americans. USA, and so on. And I'm happy to see the people who are participating uh, these days in our courses, for example, Yelena Plishkina, in the courses on herbal therapy provided by the Department of Cytotherapy of People's Friendship University of Russia. My today's presentation consists of 120 slides, but I will provide an overview, almost all the general questions of maintaining and supervising the oncological patients, not depending on the actual diagnosis. We will be talking, uh, though, about the schemes of treatment of uh, patients with breast cancer, prostate cancer in men, lung cancer, thyroid gland, gland cancer. There are so many types of different types of cancer, and uh, it, it is impossible to cover all of them. I'm sure that this lecture would be interesting for doctors, oncologists, for people uh, working with in general therapeutic practice and also people interested in herbal therapy in general. You will find many uh, useful recipes and directions of usage. I have been dealing with cancerous patients and using herbal therapy for oncology for, uh, for already 10 years in a row. Now I am an associate professor at the Department of Herbal Therapy in People's Friendship University of Russia. And I am a do uh, daughter or of Vladimir Korsun, a specialist who wrote, was one of the first specialists who wrote the actual manuscript on herbal therapy within oncology. Russia, uh, herbal therapy has been developing in Russia for a long time already. Uh, we can see that uh, in, uh, as early as in 19th century, there were different reports of various specialists sharing their experiences on usage of different herbs for cancer. The big contribution was made by uh, Triskunov uh, Karp Abramovich. Uh, now he has many students of his and followers who continue the, his um, you know, work and use his experiences in their practice. You can find his books on the website triskunov.ru. Uh, there are many sections in those books dedicated to cancer and treatment of oncology. The greatest respect is given to Lazarev, Professor Lazarev, who uh, was one of the leaders of m medical substances, as we may call it, a laboratory in St. Petersburg, Leningrad at times, uh, in the Institute of Oncology. And he studied the action of adaptogenic medicinal plants, such as, for example, ginseng. These days we cooperate and work together with his followers, uh, Professor Barnaulov and uh, Yefremenko from St. Petersburg. Uh, this is my father's book and my father's photo. He wrote the book on medicinal plants in oncology. This was the first big monography written by a doctor. Uh, other cytotherapists uh, were co-authors of this work, for example, for example Triskunov Karp Abramovich and uh, Mitskonas from uh, mm -hmm. Litva. Also, my father held two conferences uh, on the, dedicated to complementary usage of herbal therapy in cancer in Moscow in 2012 and 2015. And uh, also there was a uh, book written on cytolectins, written together uh, with написано um, вместе uh, uh, written together with Professor Lachtin, one of the authors. Within those conferences, there were presented reports of many specialists, uh, tens and tens of specialists uh, working uh, from Russia, um, Belarus, and Litva. Medicinal plants have has various significant effects in terms of oncology. In oncology, you can see the effects on the uh, on the slides, and the effects may be direct or indirect. You see, the study within the effects of plants on the cancer uh, is still under re the research, so they are still unknown. 
Among the most important uh, effects of medicinal plants are anti-tumor effect, immunomodulating effect, and detoxifying effect. First of all, uh, cancer or the tumor is the first, uh, the third stage of inflammation, like proliferation stage, uh, and usually immunity suffers a great deal in patients with cancer. It is called the secondary immune deficiency. And the third thing is that uh, the cancerous patients are uh, usually detox, uh, uh, usually um, intoxified. Uh, f first of all, they have the disrupted metabolism and, and get uh, intoxicated by the, metabol uh, the metabolic substances. Uh, also, they get uh, intoxicated by the uh, therapy that they get and by the tumor itself. It is not a rare occasion that cancer is associated with uh, hy uh, hypoxia as one of the uh, factors of ang angiogenesis. Mm -hmm. Also, herbal therapy is aimed at stress protection, meaning protecting the, the person from the stress caused by the diagnosis itself, and also to protect the tissues, the tissues of the organs such as kidneys, uh, liver, bone marrow, skin. All these factors are covered for all the patients, not depending on the stage of the disorder, not depending on the stage of the treatment. It may be before or after the surgery, before or after the chemotherapy, or before and or after the radiotherapy, any stage. Other principles of herbal medicine which are important. The treatment should be continuous. We should not stop working with a patient, not making breaks even for a month. Uh, working with a patient continuously for five years in a row, starting the moment the diagnosis was set. One of the biggest challenges here is that after getting the treatment, the patient may be, may be not getting any other complementary or follow-up treatment, thus getting progression or exacerbation of the disorder. The patient is supposed to be examined before each new prescription on cytotherapy. It should be uh, following uh, the supervision of oncologist. We never make decisions for the patient, like what, this, what step will be the next, surgery, chemotherapy, or radiotherapy. We think that surgery is, uh, should be held in case it is necessary to remove the, the tumor or make its size lesser. Unfortunately, many tumors uh, seem to be inoperable. They cannot be removed surgically. The history of using herbal therapy for cancer uh, takes its roots a long time ago. And we made uh, reports uh, on the history of herbal therapy. And uh, you can see that there were some experiences in 16th century, for example, for usage of juice made of viburnum fruits uh, with molasses. Uh, described, um, mm -hmm, known from the period of Kivian Rus, described in Balitsky book. Uh, in uh, interpretation of, by, given by Yuri Schultz, uh, there is provided information on usage of herbal therapy in medieval centuries. Uh, for example, usage of oregano, thyme, heads up, uh, chelidonium. Ulcers um, due to cancer were treated by the burdock roots uh, or nettle, uh, cabbage, and uh, parsnips. You can just check, check out the slide. The topic is the same. We are so much fond of the book written by Amir Davlat um, in 15th century. Uh, for cancerous ulcers, he used uh, pisidanum uh, mm -hmm. uh, and also vitex or mm -hmm. chaste tree. This book has quite an interesting name, uh, an ordinary name, uh, not needed things for not educated people, something like that. And I w we would recommend strongly this book for, for reading for the people uh, dealing with herbal therapy because it's like in the top 20 of important books in this area. Uh, the greatest contribution uh, to herbal therapy was made by Ukrainian priest Mikhail Nasal. And in this list, we can see quite familiar plants that we widely use in our practice.
The book that uh, written by uh, this priest was edited in 1957 after he died. Uh, medicinal plants and the way of usage of the plants. The, uh, this book is very much useful. We can see the list of the plants that he used for malignant tumors of liver, colon, thyroid gland, prostate. In his practice, he used both the toxic plants that are quite tricky for usage. Uh, their usage are quite complicated, even for the uh, experienced specialists. He used such plants as conium and aconitum, for example, and also non-toxic plants such as chaga, clover, meadowsweet, calendula, chicory, mm -hmm. and so on. We may divide the Russian specialists in herbal therapy into two big groups. The specialists who know actually how to use the toxic plant and use them widely in their practice, and those who are not. Among those who use toxic plants in their practice is Andrei Alifirov. We will be talking about his practice today. And among those who, who are not using those plants is Professor Barnaulov, for okay. example. We will be talking about his experiences too. For those able to buy books in Russian and read them, uh, we recommend the uh, book of Dr. Barnaulov, Detoxifying Herbal Therapy. It describes a list or compositions uh, for uh, chemo for patients uh, undergoing chemotherapy, radiotherapy, for breast cancer, for liver cancer, and so on. Uh, and here is the uh, continuation of the work made by Mikhail Nasal. Uh, the plants for bone metastasis, uh, such as comfrey, symphidum, uh, the herbs for stomach cancer, such as uh, celandine grass, burdock, burdock dandelion, uh, mugwort, and so on, uterine cancer, nettle, uh, so for, uh, for example, and for cervical cancer, uh, peony, thick-leaved virginia, sacred lotus, and so on. And also the continuation, plans for memory gland cancer, metastatic lesion of lymph nodes, in uh, radiation injuries, lung cancer. Mm -hmm. And also we are fond of the so-called inheritance given us, uh, provided us by the Bash Bashkir uh, herbal therapist Rim Ahmedov. He already died and now his daughter and his son-in-law continue his work. They re-edited his book, uh, the Confession uh, book, uh, dedicated to different, the long uh, year experience of working with different types of cancer, lung cancer, prostate cancer, breast cancer and so on. He suggested quite uh, complicated schemes of treatment, though we see that uh, he made and uh, produced balms made of quite available plants that are available for us. So they may be prescribed as uh, having anti-tumor effect, antiviral and hepatoprotective effect. Uh, those tinctures or infusions are quite easy to make and they are made of quite available uh, plants. Так, и растения. Любые, которые вы здесь знаете. Birch buds, yellow clover, uh, verdict flowers, black yeah. poplar buds, and so on. Those are the, the books written by uh, Rima Ahmedov. Uh, and I should um, repeat that it is quite complicated to follow or repeat uh, completely the scheme of treatment that he suggests to understand uh, fully his logic of treatment. Uh, our Saint, uh, our colleague Andrei Alifera from Saint Petersburg has the website uh, travalekar.ru, mm -hmm. and there are presented a widespread schemes of tra treatment uh, of usage of herbal therapy for cancer. Many herbalists and doctors operate with the authentic recipes, special recipes that may become quite universal uh, as anti-tumor, uh, detoxifying uh, herbal compositions. My father mm -hmm. suggested herbal composition containing uh, around 40 different medicinal plants uh, such as oreganum, nettle, chelidonium um, and others. One of the drugs that he mentioned is Fitancor, and we also use it in our practice as a universal remedy for our patients. Mm -hmm.
Also, we cooperate with Belarus herbal therapist Nikolai Agrenich. We use his anti-tumor herbal composition. We do not have the certain list of plants, but we know that those are presented on the slide, are there in the composition. Those plants help us to restore the patient after undergoing chemotherapy, patients having severe types of cancer. It helps to improve appetite, elevate the mood, increase the weight of the patient, has many um, good effects. Unfortunately, due to the lack of time, can I cannot go into details in different uh, detailed properties of medicinal plants, uh, anti-cancerous properties. Uh, we can use, you can find information in e uh, lab, uh, library uh, website and uh, Wikifito French website yes. and uh, Kiberlenenka. Those, those are quite rich websites containing um, a lot of information, different scientific articles and manuscripts. Hmm. Uh, and here is the uh, recipe of such called liver balm. We use the fermented infusion of turnip and celandine. This product is quite complicated to, uh, to uh, cook or to make. It should be fermented within quite a long time, within a year. Um, also, celandine is able to uh, disorder the circulation in the tumor. The Soviet specialist Prodan uh, mm -hmm. suggested the usage of fermented product on the base of celandine. Its usage is described on the website. Uh, the specialist Rubtsov, who is now, now working on the manufacturing of, of the product, claims that the products of fermentation of celandine are the small molecules that get attached to the tumor cells and make them obvious or uh, make them detectable by the immune system. Thus, the immune system may attack them. And this is a very much important mechanism because as it, it is known, tumor has ability to cheat or, or to uh, uh, trick the immune system by hiding. Mm -hmm. uh, Kiev scientist Potapalsky uh, wrote many books on usage of celandine in uh, the treatment of uh, Cancer, вообще в принципе в медицине или именно для рака? Биологии в медицине такое название. Usage of celandine in medicine and biology in general. And those here would be several slides. We will be going through them quite fast. It is dedicated to the plants who are able to disorder the process of angiogenesis, the the process of building of vessels connecting tumor cells with other organs and tissues, thus helping tumor cells to feed themselves and to grow. Those plants who have the angio, uh, who have the property of um, stand on the way of angiogenesis may also be called as anti-tumor plants. We presented a quite a big work on uh, in St. Petersburg in 2017 uh, during the event dedicated to uh, herbal therapy treatment in uh, oncology. Thus, we prescribe anti-hypoxic plants to prevent hypoxic damage uh, due to hypoxic stress, disorder associated with blood pressure, anemia, and so on. Hypoxia is following uh, intoxication. It may worsen the results of chemotherapy and uh, mm, anesthesia after the surgery. Uh, such plants as uh, nigella, uh, curcuma, and curcumin contained in it, or turmeric. Mm, one second. Uh, yeah, Filipendula. Uh, it is so much important to restore circulation in uh, uh, cancer to prevent and work on the congestive states uh, as congestive states and worsened circulation may uh, only worsen such types of cancer as prostate cancer and uterus body cancer. So we prescribe such herbs as cloves, cinnamon, crotigus, 
it has been also shown that uh, there are different pl plans that work towards prevention of uh, the growth of vessels helping the tumors such as melissa for example rosemary we are we use the provence herbs widely as they have uh, uh, the property of uh, prevent the uh, pathological proliferation of the vascular endothelium uh, from one side and they inhibit and uh, inhibit the cyclooxy genase those plants has detoxifying cardioprotective antiviral or anti-tumor effect and uh, in uh, the monography written by Dr. Kurkin, Melissa for uh, Melissa in pediatrics uh, there are described the effects of those plants mm -hmm. we have mentioned that celandine uh, has certain properties associated with angiogenesis and proliferation and there are many scientific works and articles describing its actions we know that such viruses as human papillomavirus and hepatitis virus and herpes virus are oncogenic. So our aim is to find the plants that may work towards uh, fighting those effects. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, the action or the mechanism of viruses being oncogenic is, has been described. They induce the genetic instability. Uh, they uh, work towards reproduction of the tumor microenvironment and bring changes uh, in cellular phenotype. What uh, tumors, what types of cancer are associated with viruses and what plants may be prescribed for the, those types of cancers associated with viruses? This is the breast uh, or mammary gland cancer, lung cancer, adenoma carcinoma, uh, prostate cancer, stomach and in, uh, intestine cancer, oral cavity and blood system cancers. And we prescribe meadowsweet, poplar and birch buds, tincture of potato sprouts having anti-tumor effect, uh, antiviral effect, sorry. Also, uh, one of the remedies having antiviral, anti-inflammatory, antiviral and immunomodulating effects is the infusion of propolis, is quite uh, available. Mm -hmm. Here you can see the recipe uh, by which you can cook the tincture, the alcohol, tincture of buds of birch and poplar but the content of spirit here would be oh, only 20 percent uh, it is useful for patients after the surgery associated with uh, lungs uh, stomach intestine cancers because after the surgery the inflammation may persist for more than 10 years and may cause the stenosis of the uh, intestine so it is important to prevent the state. Those plants work to work towards the uh, complete regeneration of the tissues and also prevent um, so they prevent suppuration uh, sorry suppuration and uh, bacterial bacterial influences on the tissues mm -hmm. after the surgery. So the recovery period after the surgery is so much important because the patient may be weakened by the process, by the surgery and have many problems associated with, uh, have many complications. And plants cover so many areas uh, such as elimination of the inflammatory processes, stress protective effects, uh, tonic effects, anti-hypoxic, anti-metastatic uh, plants, and uh, and um, also well, re um, helps to uh, rege uh, regeneration of the tissues. Professor Yeremenko from Saint Petersburg proved that the intake of Eleutera cocos and ginseng seven days before and seven days after the surgery uh, helps helps to reduce the risks of metastasis for uh, quite a great percent. Herbal therapy is able to reduce the risks and complications associated with chemotherapy and increase its efficiency.
Here you can see the side effect of cytostatics of chemicals provided by chemotherapy. They may cause the suppression of all the red bone marrow sprouts. They, they can uh, have, uh, provide diarrhea, vomiting, hepatotoxic phenomena and so on. Here you can see the plants that help to maintain the normal levels of hemoglobin, the levels of red blood cells, platelets, white low blood cells, help to fight the toxicity of chemicals provided by chemotherapy. Each patient should get the support by the herbal medicinal mm, drugs. Uh, it is not a rare occasion when chemotherapy goes along with radiotherapy in people with severe types of cancer. Uh, the works of the, our colleague from St. Petersburg, Andrei Alifirov, uh, were dedicated to the protective effects of medicinal plants for people and, and undergoing the effects of side effects of uh, chemotherapy. You can read, you can see the information on the website uh, travalekar.org. Have the great regeneration potential and help to maintain the normal levels of red, red blood cells. Also, our other colleagues, such as, for example, Yelena Lisiovska from St. Petersburg, highlights the effects of juices of leaves and grasses or herbs uh, of various medicinal plants, uh, such as, for example, nettle, uh -huh. nettle uh, parsley, dill, um, agapodium, uh -huh. black currants, and so on. In one of the city in the Buryatia Republic, there were manufactured uh, ventrafit herbal uh -huh. composition. It contains critigos, uh, calendula, uh, inula, uh, and there also was written like the PhD uh, work um, dedicated to the um, proving of effects of this composition. Uh, uh, another composition containing various fruits, berries and plants uh, promoting hematopoiesis, thus supporting the patients with anemia because the people who are having quite low levels of red, bl red blood cells may be rejected for radiotherapy and chemotherapy and it may be impossible for them to continue the treatment. Uh, we use the elderberry syrup or Sambuculus nigra uh, quite widely in our practice. It has the tonic, energizing and blood supporting effects. Uh, the elderberry uh, is quite widespread in uh, warm northern parts of the planet. Serbia, uh, Kaz and other southern regions of the northern, northern hemisphere. We also use the tinctures made on the base of red and white wines and um, made of inula. This is a great immunomodulating remedy uh, working towards improvement of uh, the functioning of adrenals and heart. Our colleague uh, Nikolai Agrenich from Belarus uses kvas or the fermented product made of red beetroot as it helps uh, to improve hematopoiesis. hemopoiesis. Uh, here you can see the list of blood purifying herbs that may be prescribed to oncological patients at any stage of the cancer. Those are licorice, yarrow for example, but we do not prescribe licorice uh, to patients with uh, uh, breast cancer with uterus body cancer and cervix of the uterus cancer. For many centuries, um, many years, the uh, Avena sativa was used as having many useful properties for cancer. You can see them listed in the slide. Uh -huh. And also for, for patients undergoing chemotherapy and suffering from such side effects as vomiting, diarrhea, or for patients with severe types of cancer undergoing chemotherapy, we prescribe this special remedy, steamed oatmeal. We uh, pour the oatmeal with hot water and keep it in the thermos, uh, or we may boil it for the long time until we get the special sticky gruel.
This is quite a simple remedy to cook and it may be prescribed for people with liver, with liver cancer and pancreas cancer as long as person lives and also for the patients who are now being at the terminal stage of cancer and cannot eat anything else except the, this uh, liquid gruel made of oatmeal. And the uh, relatives of the patients who already died for, for cancer helped, uh, thanked us a lot for relieving the sufferings of the person on the terminal stage of the disease. In Russian drugstores, you may find different remedies helping to protect uh, liver, having hepatoprotective functions and anti-inflammatory uh, effects as chemotherapy may be quite harmful for the liver. Uh, in order to support the pancreas in the presence of vomiting, we can use the uh, in infusion of walnut fruits, uh, so the birch buds, licorice, uh, cloves, I can see absinthium. There is also the list of uh, plants, uh, unfortunately without the uh, detailed recipe of cooking, uh, helping the children with acute leukemia uh, fight the uh, side effects of chemotherapy. Uh, also the plants may, uh, uh, may increase the efficiency of uh, chemotherapy. Also in chemotherapy, there is prescribed a small herbal composition consisting of peppermint, plantain, chamomile, uh, John's wort, yarrow. The intake is uh, for seven days. Those simple plants help to prevent inflammatory processes going on in GIT. Uh, painful sensations, vomiting, diarrhea, and they have detoxifying and regenerating effects. After that, the stage two, uh, the composition number five by Karp Triskunov is prescribed. You can find the detailed description of lists and recipes in his books. And stage three, the stage that is going on in between the courses of uh, chemotherapy, they help to restore between the uh, severe treatment. Uh, they include uh, around 65 components. We do not uh, compose such uh, collections ourselves. Thus, we consult a patient and prepare him to the fact that he would be undergoing consistent uh, herbal therapy with no breaks for following five or seven years in order to change the completely uh, change completely the environment of his body the environment that uh, um, allowed the tumor to grow mm -hmm. we know that due to malignant states and due to chemotherapy we may get the thrombosis states developing the uh, thrombosis of veins and arteries uh, due to impaired state of vascular walls and uh, from the practice or experience of our colleagues there were women who who was dying due to relapse of the uterus body cancer but before uh, the actual death she had developed uh, gangrena and thrombosis of the lower limbs so, so she got got the uh, darkened limbs and the uh, Russian herbalist Sergei Ivashkin prescribed wrappings uh, made with mixtures of red wine and apple vinegar. Within three days of usage of this remedy, the legs of the person became pink. The husband of uh, this woman told, told our colleagues about this fact. It is not a rare occasion when our patients get the radiotherapy. Today there exists the so-called targeted uh, radiotherapy uh, ways when the, the harm is less, but still we get the patients having the uh, scoldings by the radiotherapy, the burns. Uh -huh. All the plants contain flavonoids having anti-toxic effects helping fight the effects of radiotherapy. Uh, here you can see the list of plants that may be used in dermatitis induced by radiotherapy. Uh, the tinctures on the base of uh, 
the decoctions of uh, badan or, or bergenium. Uh, also, we recommend to use vitamin E as uh, the uh, substance having great, great protective properties and it is prescribed in quite large dosage. You can see it in uh, universal units. Here uh, it is prescribed uh, with uh, maclea, symphitum and entersic gel. Also, it is prescribed for the patients to uh, uh, get in, uh, for the internal intake the tincture of chestnut flowers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And also, we recommend the syrup of elderberry uh, or sambuculum. Sambuculus. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Also, decoction of flax seed, rectal suppository uh, based on the conium, and also the special uh, monastic herbal composition containing several uh, plants. You can see that we use different forms of medicinal remedies, water base, water alcohol or spirit base, ointments, tinctures and so on. Here you can see the list of plants having healing properties uh, in radio-induced dermatitis. Uh, for example, uh, there is such a remedy called Rotacan. Uh, consisting of chamomile, yarrow, uh, and calendula, helping to heal the wounds provided by radiotherapy. Also, chaga or chaga mushroom showed its high radioprotective and detoxifying activity. Uh, many uh, scientific dissertations uh, were dedicated uh, to study the effects of uh, chaga, uh, studying the ways of increasing the entero, uh, enteroprotective uh, functions of chaga. Mm -hmm. uh, another radioprotective composition provided by Nikolaev, uh, a specialist from Ulan Ude, uh, Buryatia Republic. He is the leader of all the uh, herbal uh, pharmacological uh, research centers uh, under the uh, supervision of the Academia of Sciences. Um, he uh, worked on this, uh, he worked out this radioprotective composition containing buckthorn, sea fruit, rhizomes and roots of licorice, uh, Japanese angelica rose hip fruit, and mm -hmm. so on. So it is important to support kidneys because due to chemo and radiotherapy, both they cause the damage to kidneys as they cause the peroxidation of lipids in the kidneys. Uh, and here is the list of um, quite safe plants having diuretic effects, uh, great effects for kidneys, suggested by Professor Grigoryeva, a PhD in biological sciences. And here is the continuation of the same list, oats, meadowsweet, uh, St. John's word, grass, and so on. In our practice, we widely use Hedisarum alpinium as the plant having great uh, hepatoprotective effects. In acute inflammation processes in the kidneys, we uh, prescribed it, we prescribe it in the form of decoction. Mm -hmm. Also, we use thyta suppository enriched with essential uh, extracts such as uh, mm, uh, cypress, rosemary, lavender, sage, eucalyptus, and so on. Yes. Also, patients undergoing uh, chemo and radiotherapy uh, suffer from stress, they suffer from sleep disorder. That is why we also prescribe for our patients the, uh, the plants that would help to fight stress and anxiety. As stress reduces the anti-tumor uh, immunity, it includes meadowsweet, motherwort, uh, lithium, uh, chimerian, heather, uh, gay, valerian, and so on. Also, the patient may suffer from hypertensive crises, decrease or increase in blood pressure, and we also should prescribe plants that would help to prevent the problems associated with hypertension. And here you can see the list of plants recommended for uh, vegetovascular dystonia by Hypo, 
uh, like variety where the blood pressure uh, falls down to 90 per 60. This composition was uh, developed by the specialist of Bashkir Medical University. It includes hawthorn, rose hip, artemisia, hypericum, peppermint, strawberry leaves, birch bud, plantain, licorice, and so on. The uh, plants are supposed to be used in equal proportions. In case of rigidity of uh, um, vessels in uh, atherosclerosis, uh, the person may react to stress by the increase of blood pressure up to 160 units, uh, and we may recommend the following plants. This herbal composition includes uh, valerian, leonorus, hop, uh, and um, humulus lupulus. Me and my colleagues use the following cocktail to support the um, blood state and for general tonic effect. It uh, includes honey, kehors, uh, lemon juice, radish juice, beet juice, and uh -huh. so on. The mixture of those components uh, is used in the amount of one tablespoon uh, after meals. Many plants have the effects on the lymphatic system, improve their fu it, its functioning, as there may be uh, viral, bacterial, fungal influences, sabotaging of uh, the working of immune system. Uh, Andrei Alifirov from St. Petersburg specializes in the uh, area of cancers, of lymphatic uh, proliferative uh, types of tumors. We know that uh, the immune system of patients undergoing chemotherapy suffers a great deal, and we can see that cellular and uh, cellular and humoral uh, types of immunity suffer. Mm -hmm. Uh, Professor Lisiovska suggests the usage of various plants for impaired overall lymphopoiesis, uh, immune, impaired immunogenesis, B lymphocyte insufficiency. For example, we may use adaptogens such as uh, nettle, nettle, radiola, astragal, and many others. Also, our colleagues, such as, for example, Professor Gardeev, uh, suggest the usage of immune composition, special immune composition that also have the anti-tumor effects and would help to support the patients during the cold seasons. The core plants of these compositions are echinacea, xanthium, uh, fructus sorbi, mm -hmm. lithrum, eryngium herb, mm -hmm. nettle millifolium, and many others. Many cancerous patients suffer from pain uh, and painful sensation due to the uh, main processes such as metastasis. We know that there are toxic infusions that may be used based on Econitum, uh, Maclea, uh, Senezio, and also non-toxic plants such as Eucalyptus, Acorus calamus, Angelica, and others. Many cancerous, some cancerous patients fight ascites, metastasis to kidneys, pancreas cancer, and such uh, patients may have not that much time left to live. But anyway, they need help and support. And Professor Grigorieva suggests the following plants for restoration of kidney, having decongestant and anti-edema effects. Those plants uh, are decoction of old grains that have been already mentioned, fungus betulinus or chaga, inula plantaga, and others. Uh, Dr. Aliferov highlights the fact that in colon and uh, in rectal uh, and prostate cancer, uh, patients need small edema or micro edema with solutions of semi solid, uh, semi -solid ointments. Uh, also, fermentations, rinses, uh, ointments in skin, oral cavity, nose, eyes, and lymph nodes, cancers. You can see that we use not only different forms of uh, medicinal remedies, decoctions, tinctures, infusions, but also different ways of administration.
and several slides dedicated to particular plants that are wi widely used in our practice, for example, Glyceriza glabra. This plant has analgesic, detoxic and overall uh, tonic, energizing, uh, anti-tumor effects. We, in our experience, we had a patient, a woman who had pancreatic cancer. She suffered from fever, weakness, and her ca cancer was inoperable, and the doctors refused to treat her. And we cooked the decoction of uh, Glyceriza glabra, three tablespoons per for uh, near like half a liter of boiling water. And uh, after only three days of such treatment, she was able to. Uh, got up of bed and she lived for 10 months uh, after the uh, treatment also up to uh, up till death she got the treatment with old decoction she got anti-tumor composition herbal composition but she didn't get aconitum also, we add burdock or uh, acritium lapa to um, herbal composition uh, as grade blood purifier uh, and um, corrector of metabolism. Also, our colleague, uh, Professor Barnaulov, in his book, Detoxifying Herbal Therapy, highlights the effects of Camarum uh, palustre for cancer. Uh, it, this plant is able to reduce fever, reduce intoxication. It works even for severe uh, types of cancer. It improves the overall conditions of the patients even in and also uh, helps in metastasis and tumor decay. According to his personal experiences, this plant is able to reduce the intensity of cancer and, uh, sorry, the intensity and uh, even stops the pain. Mm -hmm. Also, it was shown that for people who undergo, underwent a transurethral resection, uh, the dry extract of Camarum helped to reduce the risks of bleeding and help healing of the areas of uh, uh, the surgery and also worked towards the uh, soonest restoration of the patients after the surgery. We see that this plant has many effects not only in oncology but also in gastroenterology, dentistry, rheumatology. Mm -hmm. uh, also many scientific works and studies are dedicated to effects uh, of the plant Camarion. Uh, the Oncology Institute uh, named after Blahin, uh, Dr. Blahin uh, manufactured the special remedy called uh, Canerol. This remedy is uh, made of uh, Camarion flowers and it is uh, considered to be within the group of anti-metabolites. It also has anti-inflammatory, anti-viral, uh, anti-tumor effects. Immunomodulating effects. Immunomodulating effects. You can see many authors here who dedicate their scientific studies to this plant and continue to study its uh, properties. Mm, we uh, indicate uh, Camarian uh, non-fermented uh, uh -huh. products based on the dried leaves on Camarian to patients suffering from prostate and bladder cancer and also uh, anti-stress protective remedy uh -huh. in all tumor compositions. Uh -huh. We have already mentioned the effects of chaga uh, as, it has, it, as it reduces the toxicity of cytostatics, restores appetite, reduces pain. Uh, we recommend to take green chaga, pour the boiling water over it, infuse it and take it with chaga powder. Uh, it has been proved that not only uh, buckthorn leaves and bark has the greatest anti-viral uh, anti uh, effects in herpes, for example, but also the water-based uh, extracts of buckthorn has you know, great anti-proliferative effects. Uh, the scientist um, Lacerus, Lacerus mm -hmm. uh, 
studied the effects uh, or, or approved the effects of uh, fur terpenoids for cancer. Uh, the first mentioning of treatment of breast cancer by herbs was mentioned uh, is in the 19th century uh, when there was used the grinded carrots. So, uh, the, green, the grinded carrots was applied over the ulcers caused by cancer that helped to heal the cancer, uh, to heal the ulcers uh, and uh, withdraw the cancers, uh, detrit or detreat. The greatest Russian, outstanding Russian uh, scientist, Dr. Pirogov, uh, was m uh, made a report uh, in uh, to the Society of Russian Doctors uh, uh, on this topic. Unfortunately, he himself died uh, due to the cancer of the lower li uh, lip. Uh, during the period of uh, pre-examination, preparation for surgery, chemotherapy, radiation therapy, we prescribe the following uh, remedies. Among them is aconite tincture. It is quite complex, so just uh, do not pay attention to it here, uh, because it also includes anti-tumor compositions, sedative and antidepressant compositions, liver restoring compositions, tincture of Sephora and mistletoe, uh, also suppositories uh, Rectifit 5 uh, containing the uh, extracts of various plants. Rectifit 5 suppository was developed by my father together with uh, Sergei Kalinichenko from my Coop city of Russia. It has the greatest effects uh, in terms of improving the efficiency of chemotherapy. It includes uh, propolis extract, spirit extract of conium, maclea, potato shoots, polygonatum officinale roots, uh, Siberian fir, juniper, eucalyptus, tea tree, black cumin and so on, betulinol and so on. Also, we prescribe antibacterial and anti-inflammatory uh, remedies such as tincture or ointment with uh, maclea. Uh, also, as uh, the prevention of uh, lymph for lymphodrainage, uh, we uh, prescribe angianorm pills to prevent edema and congestive states, edemic side, and also um, liver restoration compositions, sedative compositions. Another name of demixide is dimethyl sulfoxide. Uh, Professor Grigorovich wrote a, an article on the usage of this um, remedy in different types of cancer in various forms and localizations of the cancer. Uh, in case of metastatic damage uh, during the uh, surgery in intervention, there is a resection of lymphatic nodes leading to lymphatic edema, and there are not that much remedies that may help to uh, fight this state. And uh, there are also many medicinal plants having the vulnerable or wound healing, well-expressed wound healing properties. Uh, we called it healing Swiss tea. Uh, it includes uh, Artemisia absinthium leaves, betonica, uh, oregano, sage, arnica, arnica flowers, uh, tussilago, veronica. There is a question in the chat. Is uh, Thue uh, used for uh, treatment of cancer? Yes, it is used. We use the uh, branches and fur of Thue, uh, one tablespoon per glass of water for external uh, application and one uh, teaspoon uh, per glass of water for the internal intake. This is the recipe provided by Olga Grigorieva. It is uh, an often occasion when before surgery or after surgery a patient has chemotherapy. It is important to prepare a patient and warn him or her about the side effects and complications that may occur due to this therapy. During the period of undergoing uh, chemotherapy, we do not prescribe any toxic plants such as aconitum or hemlock, though we prescribe anti-tumor compositions, compositions that help gastrointestinal tract, elderberry syrup, uh, and um, the balm uh, developed by Argenich.
Professor Barnaulov, Barnaulov recommends the following list of plans for women suffering from breast cancer. It includes uh, viscum album or mistletoe, artemisia absinthium, uh, also chaga and birch and many other anti-tumor plants. Detailed recipes of uh, the preparing these remedies are described in his book Detoxif uh, Detoxication, Detoxicating uh, Herbal Therapy. Also, uh, the books of Andrei Lefierov are dedicated to uh, mastopatia and uh, the breast cancer. In case of ulceration due to cancer in breast cancer, in those who refused to undergo surgical intervention or treatment uh, due to older age, for example, if a lady around 85 years of age, it is recommended to support a patient with decoction of uh, sangui sorba. Uh, and also grated carrots and tampons synced with uh, oils. Uh, this scheme was suggested by Rim Akhmedov and was used by my colleagues and his followers and it has um, proven uh, effects as, uh, in terms of fighting ulcers, fighting inflammations and bringing the ulcer up to uh, scarring. Uh, in toxic thyroid adenoma, this is like the precancerous state when the patient is uh, complaining on enlarging of uh, thyroid gland, tachycardia. We prescribe cardiotropic plants and plants that reduce the functioning of thyroid gland. And this is the herbal composition suggested by Alifierov uh, to fight the toxic thyroid gland, which is, I'm repeating, the precancer state and may lead to surgical intervention. And we meet the patients after the intervention to support them with this remedy. And this composition includes uh, peppermint, uh, cawthorn, our colleague Nikolai Grinich in so-called hot nodes in the thyroid gland suggests the following plants, uh, erythemum, uh, viscous album or mistletoe, filipendula or dropwort, ladies mantle, raspberry leaf, uh, white willow leaf and so on. We know that there are different histological varieties and different types of thyroid cancer and other types of cancer. There are many types of intestinal cancer, stomach cancer, lung cancer, and so on. And it is usual, it doesn't matter for us. Uh, of course, we pay attention to the stage, to what stage, to what we have uh, within metastasis and uh, you know, what other factors do we have. But uh, in general, the scheme of treatment treatment is almost the same. So, uh, for example, we have a patient who came to us after the removal of a thyroid tumor uh, with no metastasis. We will be providing support, herbal support uh, to this patient for, for several years, not depending on the actual prognosis. Uh, so we would prescribe externally the tincture of aconitum and thuem, uh, also the uh, tincture of poplar and birch buds, elderberry syrup, um, echinacea, hawthorn, uh, and uh, of course the um, cardio herbs and organic liver uh, balm. Uh -huh. Andrei Aliferov describes the case when he had the patient with removed thyroid cancer but metastasis to bones due to thyroid uh, tumor. The patient was not able to work. He was debilitated uh, by the uh, disorder. Uh, and due to the usage of the uh, herbal, um, certain herbal medicines, the, they managed to maintain the normal levels of uh, TTH or tyreotropic hormone or T4 hormone uh, stable during the lifetime. Uh, Aliferov uh, prescribed aconitum tincture as he knows well how to uh, deal with it. Also adaptogenic drugs, uh, uh, the substances containing iodine in small quantities, also immunomodulating and anti-hormonal plants.
In particular, we may say that such plants as uh, leucopus, um, comfrey, um, так, зюзни, кокопник и тополь, да? Leucopus, comfrey and poplar have this anti-hormonal effect. Uh, also, as for severe states, Barnaulov uh, suggests the following herbal composition and the core, uh, so herbal composition for men of around 70 years old with prostate adenoma and hypertension stage 2. The core plants of this composition are uh, viscum album or mistletoe, uh, impetrum nigrum, uh, cucurbita seeds, uh, also um, zizifus, Corilus. We have also mentioned that it is important to prescribe anti-inflammatory uh, support for patients uh, underwent a surgery uh, for colon cancer to prevent anti um, uh, to prevent inflammation to prevent stricture of the intestine and metastasis. Mm -hmm. Here we use uh, fermented chelidonium and uh, agrimonia uh, remedies, sephora and viscum album tincture, tincture. also the uh, anti-tumor composition by agrinich, tincture of betula alba and populus buds uh, having antiviral effect and uh, the uh, rectal suppositories that have been already mentioned. Mm -hmm. uh, and here is the gastroprotective composition uh, developed by Gardeev. I think we have already been uh, talking about that uh, partially. So about the parts of plants, uh, here it goes in the descending order of parts, like lithrum, uh, dracocephalum, leucopus, and vaccinium. Uh, um, sorry, yeah. lithrum is taken nine parts, dracocephalum, leucopus, vaccinium, uh, four parts, uh, oregano, filipendula, three parts, and others uh, like two or one parts. Part. This is herbal composition offered by Professor Barnaulo for a woman of 70 years of age with rectal cancer, with colostomy, without metastasis. I think she doesn't get any other, didn't get any other treatment except of this herbal treatment. It contains mistletoe and also thewe. Uh, those um, plants make the uh, allows um, make the tumor more uh, accessible for the surgical intervention, mm -hmm. more easy to get. If the patient addresses us after the surgery for prostate cancer and he trusts us that much that we can provide him supervision for following years after the surgical intervention, we would prescribe the continuous treatment with tincture of aconitum and hemlock, anti-tumor composition, a herbal composition aimed at restoration and improvement of circulation uh, if we are dealing with older age, uh, Sephora and Viscum album tincture, horse chestnut flowers tincture for the improvement of circulation, uh, drop wart tincture, hop buds tincture, uh, having estro, estro, estrogenic, estro, estro, estrogen, having estrogenic effect, mm -hmm. tincture of birch and populus, uh, and also suppositories. It has been also proven and mentioned in scientific artic articles that spruce fir may be used in the treatment of um, mm -hmm, benign hyperplasia of the prostate, also um, uh, prostatic intraepithelial neoplasia and prostate cancer. And this is the chart developed by my father, what plants have anti-tumor and anti-metastasis effects. What plants having hormonal regulating effects and anti-hormonal effects? Such plants, plants as pigeon weed, uh, comfrey, blue devils, um, buglos, and others. We often have patients who underwent surgical intervention for lung cancer. Those may be patients who are having metastasis to brain and liver, or patients who feel quite well and want to prevent any other complications. Mm -hmm.
My father and Andrei Alifirov had quite great results in usage of tincture of aconitum for uh, lung cancer, for example, but not that many specialists know how to deal with it. Of course, we prescribe anti-metastatic, uh, anti-microbial, anti-coughing uh, medicinal plants, anti-inflammatory. Uh, usually, we like to prescribe angelicum, uh, inula, um, plantago. We prescribe inula quite often to our patients, the patients who are weakened, patients with cardiovascular problems, hypo or hypertonia, arteriosclerosis. So this is quite it on the material, but I want to share with you a couple of books uh, because there are many books um, with shared experience, sh experience shared by our colleagues. Uh, we have mentioned the book by Balitsky, The Medicinal Plants and Cancer, written in 1980s of to, uh, the 20th century. It embraces the many therapeutic ways of treatment of cancer within herbal therapy. Another book is written by Ksenia Yeremenko uh, and co-author is Pashinsky, The Prophylaxis and Treatment of Malignant uh, Tumors with, uh, with the Usage of the uh, Natural Remedies, in particular Adaptogens. And again, the books of my father, Vladimir Korsun, The Medicinal Plants in Oncology, Herbal Therapy uh, Provided by the Family Doctor. We, you can order those books on Fitocore website and um, see the monographies and manuscripts on herbal therapy there. The book that I have already mentioned by Lek Barnaulov, Detoxication Herbal Therapy, and the book by Olga Daniluk, The Practical Irida Diagnosis and Herbal Therapy. And also the books by Andrea Lefirov, Herbal Therapy for the Disorders of um, Thyroid Gland and Herbal Therapy for Oncogynecology. And his books, uh, other books, Herbal Therapy in Oncolo Oncological Disorders of the Organs of GIT and also Herbal Therapy Against Oncology, uh, telling us uh, about the Herbal Therapy for Chemo. And here is my contacts, the website, my email, and so on. Thank you so much for attention. Good. I see that you thank me in the chat, and I hope that this webinar was useful. Of course, we embraced many issues around herbal therapy in oncology. I provided many directions of usage of medicinal plants. We described antiviral plants and their other effects uh, of medicinal plants. I gave you the names of different specialists and professors, uh, scientific articles and works that you may view. Uh, this is our first uh, webinar uh, uh, developed with Veda Pulse together and I am uh, very much glad that I had this opportunity. Uh, unfortunately, we do not have much time for uh, questions, so thank you for attention. See you yes, next time.